Hey, what's going on there guys? Nick here from Absolute MTG and I'm back with another product opening video. Today I have for you guys another one of the Cons of Tarkir intro packs and this one is the Abzan Siege. So this is the white, black, and green intro pack and this is basically for you new players out there. If you're looking to get into magic and you want to find a product that is going to suit you well, the intro pack is definitely something that you might want to consider purchasing. They're only about $12 to $15 and uh, they're pretty easy to find wherever you go. Um, certain Walmarts and Targets will have them or any equivalents of stores like that, like Kmart, uh, that may be around you. Uh, it's worth trying to check them out and see if they have them. Um, if you have a card shop close by, chances are they're gonna have it. Or even if you wanna resort to using something like Amazon, you should be able to find it on Amazon ex with uh, extreme ease, with the utmost of ease. Um, so, uh, with this intro pack, we get a 60 card pre-built deck. The pre-built deck has two rares, uh, one foil rare, which is at the front here, and another rare that's going to uh, kind of coincide and help out the deck. Um, you also get two booster packs and some inserts as well for how to play magic. All right, so we have our two booster packs here. For our inserts, uh, we have a rules reference card that's gonna teach us how to play magic. So for you guys that are very fresh to the game and don't know anything about it, it's worth checking it out. Um, they're not gonna completely leave you hanging. They're gonna give you some information about how to play the game. And uh, they do a pretty good job at explaining it as, as well with those rule reference cards. Uh, with this insert, however, this is going to talk about uh, the cons of Tarkir. It's gonna talk about the set and the clans that make up this set, the five different clans. It's gonna give you a little bit of background. And on the flip side of this insert, it actually has all of the deck lists for the intro pack. So if you guys are curious enough to uh, wanna check out some of the other ones and see what rares and commons and uncommons they have, uh, all of that is available on the backs of these uh, inserts. Uh, otherwise, you guys can find the deck lists uh, pretty easily online. I mean, they're pretty much available everywhere online for you guys to be able to check it out. But if you guys want to see a first-hand look at the intro packs and see me actually open them, you can subscribe to the channel. We're going to be opening up all of them here, and you guys will uh, be able to see it first-hand and uh, be able to experience it with me as well. All right, so uh, our 60-card deck. Let's take a look at it. So our first card is the Ivory Tusk Fortress. All right, so let's take a look at this bad boy. All right, so he is a 5-7 for 5, 2, 1 white, 1 black, and 1 green. Untap each creature you control with a plus 1, plus 1 counter on it during each other player's untap step. It's a really awesome card, and the art's really awesome for it as well. All right, so our other rare that we get in here is High Sentinels of Arshin. So it's a 3-4 four for 4 with flying, and it gets plus 1, plus 1 for each other creature you control with a plus 1, plus 1 counter on it. And for 4 mana, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on target creature. So that's pretty sweet, and it enables the, uh, the whole Outlast and Abzan uh, mechanic for your creatures, even if they don't have the means of putting counters on themselves, which... Uh, I, I wouldn't imagine would be the case for a lot of creatures in here. I, I would assume that the majority of them have ways to put counters on themselves. Uh, but with that being said, uh, our uh, first non-rare creature is Disowned Ancestor, which is a 0-4 for one black with Outlast. So we get two of those guys. Uh, Inoch Bondkin, or Inoch Bondkin, however you want to pronounce it, 2-1 for two. Uh, he can give the uh, first strike to all of your creatures, and if it's uh, if they have plus one plus one counters, they're gonna have first strike, which is pretty sweet. Sun Grace Pegasus. I feel like I'm struggling to talk today. Uh, Child of Night. We have Abzan Falconer times two Tusk Guard Captain. Uh, we have Abzan Battle Priest for Life Link. Uh, a Razorfoot Griffin. We have Salt Road Patrol. Two of those. Uh, Mare Ack, Nightblade for Death Touch. Longshot Squad, to give your dudes reach. Armament Core, um, so distribution of counters. Carnivorous Moss Beast. And then we have our lands. So we have Blossoming Sands, Jungle Hollow, Sandstep Citadel. And we have Scurred Barons, so our fixing for us and then we have our basic land so we have our basic plains swamps and forests that are given to us 
Uh, for our non-creature spells, we have Suspension Field, Eternal Thirst, uh, Abzan Banner. I have two of those, actually. Uh, Killing Shots, uh, Abzan Charm, Dragon Scale Boon, Hunt the Weak, Flush the Dust, and Incremental Growth, which is really awesome. So that is our 60-card deck. Now let's take a look at our booster packs, and hopefully I won't struggle with the pronunciations of things much more. It's bound to happen. I know it's going to happen, but let's let's keep it to a minimum. All right, so we have the Bondkin again, uh, Whirlwind Adept, Mardu Warshrieker, Defiant Strike, Awaken the Bear, Dutiful Return, Mardu Banner, Naturalize, Blossoming Sands, Timely Horde Mate, Pine Walker. We have Dragon, Dragon's Eye Servants. Icy Blast is our rare, and it looks like we have a foil here. Uh, so it's X and 1 blue. Tap X uh, target creatures. And if you control a creature with power 4 or greater, those creatures don't untap during their controller's next untap step, which is pretty sweet. And we have a foil rare. Pretty nice. We have a foil deflecting bomb, so... Uh, one red and one white. Uh, instant speed. The next time a source of your choice would deal damage to you this turn, prevent that damage. If damage is prevented this way, it's going to deal that much damage to its source's controller. That's pretty sweet. And then we have a swamp, and we have an insert, which doesn't really matter that much to us. But icy blast and deflecting palm and foil. That's pretty. It's pretty awesome, actually. Yeah, let's take a look at our other booster pack. Alright, so we have Swift Kick, Rush of Battle, Weave Fate, Trumpet Blast, Mardu Skull Hunter, Awaken the Bear, Rakshasa's Secrets, we have Pony Back Brigade, Long Shot Squad, which goes with our deck, Blossoming Sands also. Uh, we have Chief of the Scale to give warrior creatures you control, or other warrior creatures you control, rather, plus O plus 1. Uh, we have a Yeskai Charm, Heart Piercer Bow, and uh, there we go. We have a Flooded Strand. That is pretty nice. So uh, we have a Fetch Land here. So tap, pay one life, uh, sacrifice it, and search your library for a Plains or Island card and put it onto the battlefield. Then shuffle your library. Really sweet. These cards are just awesome. And... Uh, they're really good for modern and legacy, and that's what a lot of players want them for outside of playing them in the standard format. But nonetheless, really sweet intro pack, uh, really awesome. If you guys are new to the game and are looking for a product to buy to uh, uh, acclimate yourselves, this is definitely something that you would want to go and purchase. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty cheap. It's pretty reasonable to actually pay twelve or fifteen dollars. Uh, for a product like this, considering you're already getting two booster packs out of it. And like I said before, if you guys are interested in seeing the other intro packs, just be sure to subscribe to the channel. You'll be informed whenever they're released, unless this is just like way ahead in time. And uh, in that case, you can just search our channel and you should be able to find the other intro packs pretty easily. So thank you guys for watching, but until next time, peace out. If you guys want to keep up to date with everything that we have going on here at Absolute MTG, remember to hit that subscribe button, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter for all of your Magic the Gathering needs. Also, remember to check out our sponsors of the channel, MTG Madness and AVUGames.com. But as always, thank you guys for watching.